So anyway, back to the uh, the intersection issue with the the traffic lights and the architectural design of the pastel green and the square tiles of like you know the 1960s and ultimately getting to um the pastel green thing. Yeah. So anyway, um, something about the uh, even uh, a place uh, even weightlifters referring to stacks. Uh, I mean, automatically, and not, not really automatically, but it's kind of like, it's almost like a, the um, electronic province issue and the square, the intersection and the uh, the platform. But in any case, yeah, um, the digital processing ultimately getting to the uh, the waveform and, and even life scribe. You know, I'd, I'd refer to the, one of the 12 tribes of Israel being the tribe of Reuben. And the way it's spelled, R-E-U-B-I-N, as compared to, you know, the, and the connectivity and, 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 you know, the the explanation between, like, the, the, the tribe of Reuben and the E. Reuben, uh, like a Robert E. Reuben, or Robert being 78, uh, which I'm fixing to get into, like, a Leaning Tower piece of, piece of actually being 78, and the zip code, and, and Robert, FBI Miracle, Heart God, and, and all that stuff, or, you know, even Pontiac, uh, in that way of what the... Pontiac excitement means to like uh, the heartbeat of America as well as like you know uh, uh, today's Chevrolet thing and and yeah so um there's a lot about the you know commercial advertisement in, in that way um, um, uh, even Pontiac excitement being something in, involving you know in, in reference to even Alpha Marriage of like Bill Clinton being 122 or sanitation as a matter of fact uh, or even an oasis of love type of situation uh, in that way of like uh, what people's perception of what the, the county or the country or the city or administration of city hall or you know commerce uh, dictating um, you know uh, important exporting um, issues uh, that might reflect um, even embargo and boycotts in that way involving whether tariff is a, a decision of commerce or not whether it's active inactive uh, ultimately getting to whether warehousing is going to be considered warehousing or um, um, reserve in that way and if reserve is active or inactive or, or if, if, if warehouse is, is only the issue of um, presence and what presence means and, and, and normally like in, in, in the state of Texas statutes annotated warehousing finding the words together uh, repudiation is uh, the, the warehousing word and repudiation um, you know I, I haven't truthfully heard truthfully hardly anything at all only a syllable a clue uh, that might only be that not because of knowing um, possibly by word of mouth of maybe something maybe something like this um, that long ago anyway yeah so uh, uh, repudiation uh, involving warehouse districts uh, you know it's kind of like ridiculous um, uh, if the, the warehousing is only an issue of ergonomics or um, an overhead expense, or um, whether if the description of um, what is considered uh, if itemization is actually um, ergonomic in the way of what human capital is, or a description of human capital attached to um, the use um, of um, whatever is itemized, such as um, importing and exporting products, uh, gross national product, or uh, in that way, uh, uh, um, automation uh, in the ways of. A, a, a tool device and mechanism um, even third party intellectual uh, of value of content of what description means um, uh, uh, or a machine or a computer that actually is giving a description is actually paid like an employee or uh, an administration um, in, in, in the way of, of a normal <laughs> yeah paying for itself to actually uh, participate uh, in description and get paid for what it's actually purchased to do and pay for itself kind of like thing and as a municipal annuity or a fixture in real estate and in such a way that it could actually be characterized uh, to what circumference is um, to human capital and uh, there's something you know I want to say the mass expanse there's like some phenomenal humor you know to the long John silver thing and um, uh, yeah, the high over silver thing, and yeah, the pagan idolatry, and ultimately it gets all the way back to the Christianity, the Yule Brenner, 
and uh, Charlton Heston thing and the, the Ten Commandments at the Pharaoh thing and um, the pagan idolatry being the, the blackbird uh, <laughs> and ultimately, you know, in my mind, uh, escrow issue. Um, it doesn't have to really, you know, be limited to Egypt, but predominantly in my mind, I've heard very vague and, and very, very without a doubt that's what it is in certain types of songs that, uh, and as a matter of fact, you know, I don't know if they, if their name is really Blue Murder for a band, but the, it's the, the Valley of the King song, you know, and the blood will flow. I mean, certain words and phrases is, you know, with, with the, with the, with the, the Egyptian setting and a lot of, uh, color codes of like the United States codes annotated and, and, and the water, uh, turning red and blood. Ultimately, you know, the pagan idolatry goes far beyond many things, you know, and, you know, there's, there's more to it than, uh, and, and ultimately the, the, the color code being red and some peg of like a, a, a battleship came on, on an Air Force carrier type of situation. Um, pagan idolatry is a pagan idolatry. You've heard it for uh, uh, certain uh, practical applications. Uh, uh, so it's kind of like, a, you know, the uh, the B-4 you sang about battleship thing and, and the pagan idolatry of the United States Code's annotated, uh, ultimately getting to um, a religious venue of like um, what the actual... Um, the bird is um, to MGM, as a matter of fact, the alphabet to 33, or you know, uh, certain forms of uh, a name being 33. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit about you know 33, and you know, in my mind, you know, even the the lifespan of the Lord Jesus Christ in biblical times, I'm assuming is like right at the age of 33. Um, <laughs> I, I've looked for it actually pinpoint it as exactly you know the 33 year duration uh, of, you know the, the Lord Jesus Christ thing and I'm pretty sure that MGM is somewhere like thinking like well if you don't know by now like you know then there's some absolute tolerance on the toilet thing right <laughs> zero tolerance yeah, yeah right yeah so anyway yeah so um in that way to what um, the, the, the the abbreviation and and or acronym of DC or Washington DC being a you know a, a during Christ and I prefer not to use that although I I, I have before I, I'm more along the dimensional false issue uh, with direct circuitry and tele, television and electronic God no Washington being 130 or a telepathic map issue um, 130 thing and you know the DC being a 7 and 137 or like you know really a holy seagull um, truthfully, another bird thing about the NASA and Audi, as, as far as I'm concerned, and Highway 35 in Austin, and Austin Powers to the, to the extent of like you know uh, uh, NASA, like in Clear Lake, Texas, being uh, 137, as well as the Holy Seagull, and the color code, as a matter of fact, of Holy Seagull uh, being predominantly the colors of the spaceship shuttle, and I think there's I think there's seven. I'm going to have to actually find out and make, make absolutely sure. You know, I know that there's like seven you know, pylon, um, cone, like on, uh, the Statue of Liberty, and although, you know, there's like, uh, I think that there's like seven layers that are identified in the atmosphere, yet the outer layer, uh, the ionosphere, uh, it's, it's ultimately, the eye is like nine, a difference of two between the seven layers of the atmosphere and the ion ion thing of the ionosphere, and it's kind of like, you know, the only thing about the sonic boom and light year speed and certain issues with light stripe. Back to the tribe of Reuben before I, you know, get off the track again. You know, it's like, as far as my memory goes, when the information was like it, um, like the tribe of Reuben, if my memory serves me thoroughly correctly, and it's so much of this is like really seriously uh, dependent and reliant upon my, my memory. Very much so. Um, yeah, but I think it's like a, uh, the tribal room was like predominantly involved with the scribes. And, you know, it's like, I've studied like uh, alphamerics and bibliography and geographics and legal terminology, medical terminology, geographics, uh, all kinds of software involving geographic information, global positioning systems, fleet management, as well as uh, network operations and uh, database administration and like the Oracle Corporation and 3D imagery and all kinds of uh, software involving uh, uh, international financial management, uh, such as, you know, um, predominantly, you know, like the babysitting uh, 
SAN software storage area networks, like predominantly like the biggest uh, um, storage area networks. Although, you know, the degree you know, above, above, you know, actually uh, getting anyone to like talk about it and like they can like really have any distinguishable uh, brains about proving, even being able to prove participating would be like, you know, uh, identifying that the acronym is like the separation between church and state. Uh, Contrary to popular belief of what education in the first 12 public grades actually lead, you know, the entire, you know, continent to play. But anyway, yeah, but anyway, yeah, so anyway, so, um, yeah, in that way, um, with the, uh, the tribal movement involved with scribes, and ultimately it gets to, like, a, the light scribe, ultimately getting to a principle of, like, the copying machine and, like, invisible um, programming, uh, like a light scribe involving waveform. And to what degree, you know, having got into it, but you know, like when it really gets seriously, I mean, um, invisible, like you know, certain aspects of like, uh, uh, like um, glow in the dark uh, would be, you know, to um, what would be perceived only visible with a certain type of light. Um, uh, somewhere in programming involving a, a, a specific uh, waveform and signal processing, and waveform, uh, if not even customized uh, versions um, of. Um, waveform to the extent of, uh, you know, um, <laughs> programming, okay, and, and, and right now, like, the, the Department of Transportation and, and, like, Interstate I-10 is, like, a real big, you know, like, the baby of the century, you know, uh, knowing, really truthfully even knowing they're, you know, using it in any kind of way, so, like, I-10 being, like, uh, binary numbers, or 10 is, like, 10, it's, like, T-E-N and 39, the angel issue, or, you know, um, even getting to the point of, yes, itemization and a uh, taxation code 10 ultimately getting to 141 like a um, um, a USA maneuver thing and it's really the way it's pronounced and the way it's spelled uh, with like 141 a, a, a telepathic uh, you know a, <laughs> a telepathic USA thing yeah anyway yeah so um, like a, a taxation code 10 being like 141 and an expenditure or itemization being um, the similarities or what taxation code is to um, 130 or even Western Auto uh, is a phenomenally Western Auto is like I, I, I do believe the way it's spelled I'm just going by my memory but I think it's like a something of a 132 depending on how the binary 10 or 0 or 1 is, is either um, just one or like ten, um, and I think it's a uh, uh, tax action code. And actually, Western Auto has some similarities of like a, uh, something of like Iowa Colony being 132 and presidential. Uh, Western Auto also having the the half of like 131 and 141, depending on how the one and the zero is actually used uh, in the Alpha Um Identifying certain issues of interchangeability. And practical application in that way that identify you know issues between like uh, normal forms and what normal forms is through practical application uh, uh, based upon principle in that way uh, what as Western auto means uh, <laughs> when alpha numerics of like 131 is is um, um you know a telepathic life issue or yeah you know, uh, yeah I mean the list goes on and on but anyway yeah that's something that that has some significance that like geographically and alphamerically it's it's like um you know seriously uh something i look at it's like an automatic way the, the way i've been thinking truthfully since uh, june of like 1992 truthfully so for you know the first 13 years of guaranteed i mean <laughs> unreal non-stop for real but anyway yeah so anyway um something about the um tribe of Reuben, okay, um, ultimately getting to, um, being 69, the way it is spelled, in the King James Version Bible, R-E-U-B-I-N, I've seen it spelled both ways, with two E's, and, and both with an E and an I, and R-E-U-B-I-N as compared to R-E-U-B-E-N, but in any case, yeah, so like, um, there's something about the, uh, R-E-U-B-I-N and the E taken out being E-Rubin or some similarities of the U.S. dollar 
the E Corpus uh, representative of uh, the E Point, or you know, Reuben, R B I N, being like a Israel or an American or Oracle or a movie or music minus A, but does it have to be minus A because of really being involved with it? Um, Reuben being 64 and all that stuff about, you know, I'm not real thrilled about using that word test. Um, I choose really not to use it as compared to in the very beginning um, for my own personal reason, but yeah. So like it's like an Israel thing with like uh, Robert E. Rubin and the way I was hearing it on television um, at the time where I was at, when I was at, uh, and just the way I was hearing it, uh, when and where, and then ultimately getting to the front page of uh, uh, the, the, the Wall Street Journal and some information of Robert E. Rubin. Ultimately, it's getting to uh, the way uh, Robert E. Rubin was a United States Secretary of Treasury in Washington, D.C., and information that his involvement with like the New York Federal Reserve Bank at a presidential and executive level, um, ultimately uh, getting to a, a, a very many things that he was involved with with the Federal Reserve Banks. Um, likewise, um, in addition to uh, Citigroup, as a matter of fact. And also, uh, if my memory serves me, I'm pretty sure even General Motors, uh, too. And, and ultimately, you know, automatically when, <coughs> excuse me, any litigation is involved with like General Motors, I mean, it's an automatic de facto issue and um, ultimately it's getting to um, you know I had give reference before about a Roe v. Wade issue or even you know terminology used on a tax form whether it's a, a, a deduction or a credit um, or even a binary number of like um, one or zero is something or nothing or um, now you see it now you don't kind of like thing um, in that way of uh, representation um, even in, in methods of banking um, in that way to what a direct deposit is as compared to maybe an endorsement <clears throat> or when the availability of the um, direct deposit uh, was actually available as compared to the impression of what an endorsement of an entire uh, employment history or uh, life on air current about or you know the, the the stars predominantly on like the US dollar being 13 stars and and like on the quarter, uh, even more specifically, I choose the, the bicentennial quarter, the 13 stars, uh, and representing like the 12 Federal Reserve Banks and each of the 12 Federal Reserve Banks being a star, and like every endorsement on every transaction at the bank, uh, every one is a star. It's like a Christian thing, you know, really, you know, beyond the in God we trust thing, but, you know, it's kind of like a we're all one in Christ, you know, through the baptism type of thing, which is a real big thing, <laughs> ultimately getting to a lot of that I've been talking about. Uh, the symbolic representation of, you know, the death, the death and resurrection, and life after death, and and what the baptism means in a Christian, not limited to religion, but Christianity as a whole, and, and even an amphibious, <coughs> excuse me, um, reality about the uh, the resurrection and um, the Mount Olives issue, and ultimately getting to um, the transfiguration and you know ascending uh, with the transfiguration. Um, and the meeting in the sky, symbolic and comparable to the, the rapture in the second coming and, and returning to heaven kind of like thing. And it's like a big deal in the book of Thessalonians. But anyway, the baptism, <clears throat> excuse me, in that way is symbolic and representative in that way, uh, to my mind, even in endorsement, seriously so, um, how everyone is like a star um, and what that means. You know, contrary, not really contrary, but so many other things have, have really happened. Um, but that's the way, I, you know, I really look at it in that way. Um, but I have a lot more to say about it. And I have, you know, in previous, if I didn't, like, uh, delete them all. But, yeah. Anyway, so, anyway. Um, yeah, so, um, something about the, uh, the the white earth. You know, I was reading the Black Law Dictionary. And I was reading the entire Black Law Dictionary book. And I came across that um, um, <laughs> exclusionary rule provision. <clears throat> And I was getting off into the, uh, uh, I wasn't really looking for de facto or General Motors or stationary engineering, or, but it was like automatic. <clears throat> when I realized the, the, the acronym for exclusionary rule provision is like an ERP, <laughs> white ERP, it was like my first thought. It was like going ERP, ERP software and technology involving certain issues in white ERP. <laughs> getting back to the cowboy thing, right? In the high silver thing, right? 
I mean, is it like, you know, I haven't like went far beyond, but is it ultimately going to get back to a pagan idolatry issue? Some color code of a, like a bird. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of like the uh, sovereign immunity and governmental amnesty. Like Harris in Egypt being 73 or a union. Um, and the pyramid on the back side of the U.S. one dollar and like Charlton Heston and like Yule Printer and Favreau thing. And that, that, that bird, the black bird that, it's obviously the, the, the crow in my mind something about that uh, a hard guy how true how true it is there in Egypt but me, me being like the North American kind of kind of like you know <laughs> I've always believed I'm an American although contrary to the degree in certain issues it's kind of like are you sure <laughs> are you sure you still have your citizenship every time you go to the mailbox <laughs> yeah are you sure you still have your own birthright stuff Every time you go to the mailbox, right? <laughs> you sure you're not accused of having someone else's right? Yeah. <laughs> having a passport and a visa every time you go to the mailbox, yeah. Anyway, so anyway. Uh, so, um, something about the white earth. And I, I, I'm going to eventually look into it, yeah, because uh, that was something about the acronym. And, um, uh, and her being like 39. Um, what is that, 16? 34? Yeah, that's, that's 39. Or, you know, the exact opposite of 39 being 9 for you, like an ambassador. Yeah, all right. Or a drummer. A Pentagon. One Pentagon, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, so anyway, um, something about that and, and uh, the absolute values of the, the ERP technology and software and the cowboy thing um, ultimately seeming to be um, something that I've considered. I had golf or but I'm going to, yeah. So anyway, it's kinda of like the acronym and, and like New York, New York being, you know, thirty nine and thirty nine. And um anyway, yeah, so anyway. So anyway, I'm kinda of like it's it's getting late already, but anyway, I'm gonna like look into some of that stuff a little bit later. I was wanting to get into the the part about Robert E. Reuben and the Secretary of Treasury and the tribe, one of the twelve tribes of Israel being the tribe of Reuben. And something getting into the light scribe with a uh, programming uh, sequencing of characterization normally identified normally involving binary numbers of like 0, 1, 1 and 0 or any combination of the four likewise getting to like to the tribe of Reuben and the reason why I, 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 I am bringing this up is because ultimately life scribe suggesting sequencing of characterization and, and sets of four uh, with life scribe and the ones that drove tribes of Israel uh, having the, the, the spelling and E. Rubin being 64 and Oracle and an American and movie and music minus A and like Israel itself and, and, and all that I mean it's ultimately getting to a, a real heavenly thing right of like you know uh, invisible programming uh, spiritually valued <laughs> and included spiritually valued yeah for real so um, yeah something even about the copying process involving a uh, a selenium drum which is predominantly a silver and just the basic process normally associated with like copying process involving electronic charge placing an invisible you know uh, uh, charge uh, on on a drum as it turns and, and uh, as it spins up when light shines on the piece of paper and reflects off the white part and, and doesn't reflect off the black part uh, and not reflecting off the black part will leave a charge on the drum as it rolls and the toner that's on the, the drum will be fused in, with with heat and, and pressing of rollers. Not not the only way, but that is probably the way a toner uh, copier works. Is that uh, it's all invisible charge? It's like an invisible uh, format of like you know if you want to even call it a format of programming. I mean it's still invisible with the information there. And likewise with light drive uh, and using a uh, um, symbolic waveform in the ways of and I'm not real sure, but I'm thinking that, that instead of binary numbers that it actually uses, uh, and I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that it would almost have to, instead of like using a zero and one, actually using a symbolic waveform in an invisible uh, whole new uh, setup of like a, I mean, if <laughs> heaven's secret service <laughs> doesn't do that by now, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that, that I'm, I'm sure that, uh, then, then I'm sure that like it's like really a real secret, right? Yeah, for real. So, I mean, you know, everything's spiritual about, you know, the heaven-sent programming, for real being like some uh, invisible uh, 
you know, symbolic way for him. Contrary to like virtually anything, everyone's like truth liver on their whole entire life, yeah. For real. So when you, something about the tribe of Reuben and, and, and Robert E. Reuben has really uh, kind of directed my attention in that way <clears throat> for, you know, many reasons, truthfully so. And, um, yeah, so, um, you know, I, I've, I've had quite a bit going on and, and really actually, actually after I really got a considerable amount of like a audio production recording equipment and musical instruments and a lighting um, and, uh, you know, having a little bit of extra time other than maybe making music videos right now, uh, which I'm actually having to, to wait uh, for a, a conditional, um, hopefully it won't be much longer. Um, but in any case, yeah, I'm really kind of just um, sitting on my thing like I'm on like right now and just like waiting a little bit. Um, the way it's happening, I'm not thrilled about it at all, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. So um, anyway, I'm going to take a break. It's getting late and uh, I'm going to like really maybe consider getting a little bit more into uh, everything about this tribe of Reuben. Ultimately, getting to the Robert E. Reuben, like a big alchemist of like ultimately 147 in telepathic jugs. And ultimately, ultimately, it's kind of like for Purple Mountain's majesty above the fruited plains in a, in a Paraland thing. America, America. <laughs> yeah, and crown that good with brother, yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, so in any case, yeah. Uh, for Purple Mountain's majesty above the fruited plains, huh? Yeah, so anyway, uh, it seemed to be like a, a California thing, and uh, not limited to uh, something about that, yeah. So ultimately, you know, I'm looking into that tribe of room and, 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 and what describes, um, even to the 2D isometrics of three-dimensional, two-dimensional isometrics of uh, actual participation of three-dimensional, and what describes actually used uh, for means of, like, uh, calibrating um, um, travel, uh, even... Uh, uh, <laughs> constellation and, and, and reading uh, looking at the stars in a way of like a astrology and what type of um, material was used for uh, mapping in, in, in that way of like um, isometrics uh, giving an impression of you know obviously three dimensional isometrics is an automatic 3D perception of what depth normally would look like and suggested as supposed to mean in that way, yeah. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, I'm kind of like looking at that 2D ISO, um, 3D alpha numbers of 56 and and 56 is 10 and then 94 to Y2K and a, a lot of things and and probably you know ultimately getting to what I've been talking about the the traffic and uh, the traffic light and the international electrical and electronic engineering and the international standards of like um, color codes and lighting. In, 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 the, in a way of like a digital processing in that way of like a province. Uh, and ultimately, you know, the movie The Sum of All Fears, and uh, you know, r ridiculously, it seemed to be getting to the um, monetary, domestic, and gross national product aggregates um, and uh, constitutional law involving uh, uh, the amendments, and predominantly even more so uh, what that means to um, uh, court reporting. Uh, and annotation and, and uh, any um, <laughs> any perception of what that is, when and where, and and for how long, and and um, all that means, and, and and when and where it actually takes place. Um, yeah. So um, in any case, yeah. So um, that's something I'm looking at because uh, Robert E. Rubin was like um, uh, the Alpha Nerds 147, and. Um, it would be like a, also 247 would be like a, uh, in my mind, because of architecture and color codes and like the acronym SAN and SAN software of international financial management and like uh, storage area networks as compared to international law uh, of having fair use of access easements and with the degree above the degree and above the acronym, uh, like uh, the SAN software of storage area networks being the securities and annuities issue and what databases mean in that way of, um, you know, the flat line and what oscillation and above and below or even representation of deed restrictions by comparison uh, of liens and what a lien is, when and where most people's perception of what a lien is. And, and, and if so, I mean, like, do they know the difference between a, a lien 
or <laughs> just normal taxation. Um, yeah, for real. Or, uh, you know, um, yeah. Um, you know, or the national deficit available in closed captions for the hearing impaired or protected estimates, options, and features in that way. Um, by comparison uh, to what um, litigation is, when and where and how um, that happens, or if the, the, the word in litigation is only the accusation of like, are you sure you're still on the toilet and accepting uh, a, a settlement? You know, I mean, is, is it really only litigation involving, you know, um, HOA, HOA, Homeowners Association, and GMAC? And the International Electrical Electronic Engineering being the IAE, all being 24, um, only suggesting that the FACO and what all that means in a driveway um, with the FACO or General Motors being representative of the FACO in a way of, of being able to even prove um, you can even find it all together in any proceeding involving um, any practical application beyond litigation and whether or not if the word settlement is only litigation and really is it limited to um, the pronunciation of litigation being a, like a, a light eye gate a light a light eye gate um, yeah and it's getting back to the light scribe and the tribe of ribbon issue and the Robert E. Ribbon thing that I'm, I'm going to eventually get to um, but in case yeah so um, uh, instead of uh, you know a settlement uh being some ergonomic, you know, you can learn a lot from a dummy uh, uh, and, and, and identify what de facto means um, with General Motors or uh, what all that means in the driveway or a province in the way of an electronic province um, of some like digital information of like waveform or even um, symbolic waveform representative of what annotation enforcing innovation not being a question. Um, means with like all that in the driveway or like regular programming on television or any segregating factors between degreed and non-degreed participation of like urban or suburban uh, or you know uh, whether being on par above or below par is a, is a question somewhere like in some pasteurized sermon um, you know it's made it beyond the front lines of the beast run you know beyond you know the Prince of Wales issue and beyond that color code of the, like the caviar that's migrated to some like some you know place on the map somewhat similar to maybe giving the impression that maybe having the right to assemble it might eventually might be someone's thought of like uh, family law and uh, if gravity is involved on on this planet not necessarily you know some color code of space exploration right <laughs> yeah for real <clears throat> so anyway yeah so I'm like uh, looking at that Robert E. Rubin uh, because of um very, very um, intense uh, experience in, in that way uh, and involving what seems to be very significant of all that, that truthfully I was like at the time, so involved like with Alpha Merrick in studying, I mean any and everything going through the circuit I mean um, the, the way I, it was just like I, I mean how could I ignore, you know the way I was hearing it like on television and at the same time it seemed to be so uh, symbolically representative of truthfully the way it really is and um, something about the alphabetics of 247 and uh, even the flight pattern of like a hobby airport uh, being representative scale of like international uh, continental airport yeah yeah and, and, and much more yeah even the um, United States Supreme Court Southwest Court reporter hey all right yeah <laughs> or that color code of like you know the debate the base of the sign the signs of software you know international financial management color code <laughs> the sand man the United States Southwest Court reporter thing here and some sand man um, some storage of area network and international financial management some like globalization yeah so anyway so getting into the international having fair use of like access easements or some securities and annuities oh my god yeah yeah, some like New York Stock Exchange saying, "Oh my God, it's like oh, it's like, oh that don't forget it's live on air." Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, don't forget like you're alive, man. Don't be accused of like you know, uh, Ten Commandment breach of like thou shalt not bear graven images. But you know, are you kidding me? Like, are you still the bank? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Where's the right to press the administration? 
Are you kidding me? You mean it's like live on air? Current affair? Oh my God. You're not having a conflict of interest with some like contra relationship. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so anyway, I'm taking a break. It's getting late, okay? All right, there it is, yeah.